What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Cincinnati versus San Francisco college basketball matchup going down Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Cincinnati and and San Francisco. Cincinnati coming in on behalf of the Big 12 in the first round of the NIT uh, with a record of 20 and 14 on the year, while San Francisco comes in out of the West Coast Conference at 23 and 10. And San Francisco, you know, it's a San Francisco team that stumbled down the stretch. You know, they lost to St. Mary's, Gonzaga, and Santa Clara in three of their last four games to close out the year. You know, they beat Portland in the West Coast Conference tournament before falling to Gonzaga in the semifinals. And as a uh, one bid league, more often than not, I mean, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't say more often than not. As a one to two bid league, more often than not, they unfortunately didn't uh, didn't make the NCAA tournament. Santa um, St. Mary's and Gonzaga did, but still, uh, San Francisco. So one of the better teams in uh, in the West Coast Conference. The problem for San Francisco is that they just couldn't take the step up against those upper end teams in the West Coast Conference. Like a lot of the better teams in the West Coast Conference, your St. Mary's, your Gonzaga's, your Santa Clara's, and San Francisco's, they were able to beat up on the smaller teams like your Portland's, Pacific's, even Loyola Marymount, San Diego. But, you know, when uh, when San Francisco had to take that step up, you know, they lost both games to St. Mary's and Gonzaga this season, lost to Santa Clara to close out the year, like I mentioned. So we'll, we'll have to see if uh, San Francisco can exercise some of those demons next year on the other side of that coin though you know you have Cincinnati who you know had a decent first year in the uh in the big 12 not ideal they did go 7 and 11 in conference play but you know it it could have been a lot worse and you know I think that um I think Wes Miller as long as he can keep some of these guys in-house this is a very very young team you know a lot of the top end talent on this team are still you know um still have their senior seasons ahead of them Day Day Thomas and Victor Lakin are both juniors. So is uh, Seema Sakosius. Uh, Dan Skillings is one of their better players, if not their best player. He's only a sophomore. So as long as Cincinnati can keep a lot of these guys in house, there's going to be a lot of continuity, and and this Cincinnati team is going to be able to keep it for, keep it rolling going forward. The thing for me in this matchup, though, is that Cincinnati they had a great home record this season, especially out of conference. The problem is is that they didn't really play anybody. In true home games in the non-conference portion of their schedule, the highest ranked team, according to the Ken Palm rankings, that Cincinnati played was 128th ranked Georgia Tech. They played Illinois Chicago, Detroit Mercy, Eastern Washington, Northern Kentucky, and all that that good stuff. But they didn't really play a tough non-conference schedule. You know, you uh, excuse me, um, San Francisco, they played a lot of home games in conference as well, but the thing is that when they did step out on the road, they didn't win a lot of games away from home, but they were very competitive, especially against NCAA tournament teams. You know, they lost by five points in a true road game at Boise State, lost four in a semi-road environment against Grand Canyon, lost by just one point in a semi-road environment against Utah State. This San Francisco team is solid, and I think that, you know, Jonathan Mogbo, you know, big man for... uh, for San Francisco, going to be able to bang with Victor Lakin in the post. And I just think that San Francisco's getting some value here, catching the five and a half points. When you look at these teams side by side, from a national perspective, USF, the far more consistent offense. You know, they're just outside the top ten in two-point shooting. They're great from the foul line whenever they get there. I mean, they don't they don't get a ton of free throw attempts, but they're good. They're solid from behind the arc. Cincinnati, their percentages aren't great. And USF's defense is, is good enough that I think they can keep this one within reason. Maybe make this a, a tight game late. So I'm going to take San Francisco plus the five and a half, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.